Oh, uh, well, like, uh, I didn't see this coming. I did a video about this earlier when the, the Ghostbusters reboot trailer dropped. And how I was, like, half and half. Of course, when I watched it, I had a couple drinks. So I watched it sober, I watched it buzzed. And I took some time away from it and went back and watched it again. And, uh... This, every time I look at it, it looks worse and worse. I, <laughs> I know I, I, I I've been watching Ghostbusters one and two a lot lately, uh, too, because the the second one was my favorite movie. Even I I know it's probably not as strong as the first one. And the, the second movie's got a lot of animosity from from everybody, saying it's shit. It's not as good as the first one. That's your opinion, fine. But this Ghostbusters reboot looks like garbage, and supposedly. I don't know how you can measure this, but I guess you can. It's supposedly the most hated, most disliked video on YouTube. It got the most dislikes out of any video. Uh, that that it, That's not a music video, I guess. I, I guess they're comparing them or whatever, because music videos get a lot of dislikes. But I guess this one is the most hated video on YouTube. And again, can I really know that? No. But I, somebody does. Somebody figured it out. Somebody added up. How many dislikes it got compared to other videos. And it's not looking good. I I read a, a report that they're doing reshoots based on what people are saying about the comedy in the movie. So I'm assuming they're going to go back and try to rewrite things and reshoot it. So it tries to please more people. But I kind of think the damage is already done. Especially when I read... It, Another internet article about Paul Feig or Fag, whatever the fuck his name is. This guy's not known for being very nice to fans on the internet. He's blasted them before. Like, anyone talking shit about the Ghostbusters movie, he doesn't handle it in a very mature manner. He handles it like a fucking, uh, a spoiled bratty kid who didn't get his way. You know, everyone should like my movie, even if it does suck. I don't care if I took a franchise you loved and shit all over it. You know, and he always tells everyone to grow up, but this guy's not acting very adult himself. You know, first of all, he told... There's some fans on the internet he told to fuck off or whatever. He got really defensive. And then, I guess recently he went on Twitter again and said, you know, the, the people in, you know, geek fandom are some of the biggest assholes in the world. And he said something along those lines. And it's like, man, it's like, there's already enough damage to this movie... You know, it's probably not a good idea to start going and blasting fan bases if you want this to make, you know, to turn out any kind of a profit. And Sony went on damage control and uh, disabled negative comments on the video. If you go on there and make any negative comments, it, it doesn't show up, gets deleted. So I, I, I think they're pretty much shitting themselves at this point that it's not going to do very well. But I think a lot of people told him that. It's like, I, okay, I told you so. When the idea was brought up, and more and more people are seeing this, and the trailer just looks awful. It, I mean, the, the girls I've talked to that are going to go see it are seeing, they bring up Chris Hemsworth. It's like, well, I'm seeing it because Chris Hemsworth is hot. It's like, it's the Megan Fox effect. It's like when I talk to guys about how shitty the Transformers movies are, and they are fucking terrible. The guys will always say, oh, well, Me Megan Fox is so hot. And it's like, yeah, well, did but did you watch the movie? Or were you just thinking about going home and stroking it all night over Megan Fox and not really paying attention to what you're watching? So it's like that, I think that's what Chris Hemsworth is for this movie. It's like, well, this will bring in a number of the women to come see it because he's hot and he looks good. I like Chris Hemsworth, but he's not going to be enough to make me go go see this movie. Yes, I thought I thought he looked cool in costume or whatever, because there was a couple of pictures of him in Ghostbusters outfit. But uh, I don't know. The more I see of it, I think this movie was a mistake. It was a mistake giving it to someone like Paul Feig, who just made a lot of. You know, your run-of-the-mill dime-a-dozen female comedies. And that's what he tried to turn Ghostbusters into. And it's like, it's... It's like, I'll, I'll try to give you an example. It's like, it's like the director, the, the director of the American Pie movies. Someone says, well, I, 
I want you to take something like Thundercats, and I want you to make a, a profitable franchise out of it. But you know, use use your strengths. He takes something like Thundercats and turns it into American Pie. So you got the characters, you know, like Lion-O and stuff, getting into these fucking weird sexual situations, like Lion-O fucking super gluing his hand to his dick and getting caught by all the other Thundercats doing it. It's just something stupid like that. This is the same deal. It's like he's, they let him do what he wanted to, and he's trying to apply what he believes to a very popular franchise that many people held dear and a lot of people are pissed about it. And it's, there's people saying, well, if you're a true Ghostbusters fan, you should go see this, you know, be equal and stuff. But I'm not going to say I'm not going to give it a chance. Maybe I'll watch it on Netflix. I have a very, or not Netflix, but when it comes to Redbox. But I just, I can't give money to see this in a theater just because of how much, it's something, it's the first, Ghostbusters was the first franchise i ever remember liking and loving as a kid like i don't remember much stuff before that it was because you start forming memories at a certain age you don't remember everything from when you're a baby but i remember it's my one of my earliest memories is watching the cartoon on tv and watching the movies all the time it's something i loved and it's to see modern hollywood especially sony which i've really grown to hate they destroyed the spider-man franchise which is why they handed it off to marvel because they they can do good things with spider-man and we'll see what happens in captain america civil war if, if i'm right about that but um modern hollywood taking something i love that much and just turning it into a fucking joke i mean ghostbusters is a you know a comedy horror to begin with but this just looks fucking stupid. It's like, let's take as, as much slapstick and throw it in there as you can. The ghost puking on one of the actresses. Just one of the Ghostbusters putting on a wig and being funny. But that's not what I want to see. The humor in Ghostbusters is a little bit more subtle than that. And I mean, it looked like they still kind of kept the core principle. Like these underachieving you know, people rising to the challenge and becoming heroes. That's what these girls look like. They don't look like supermodels or anything. They're not perfect looking. They're very normal looking, especially Melissa McCarthy, which I really don't like. But I will say one thing about Melissa McCarthy quick is as much as I don't like her, I gain respect after hearing one thing. I guess there's problems with her on the set of the movie. She didn't like a lot of how, the direction of how the movie was going. She had a lot of issues with the script, and she thought she was going to be making a movie much like the original cartoon, and she was disappointed when it didn't turn out like that because she had memories of watching that cartoon growing up. And as coming from a person I really don't like, I have more respect for her after hearing that because that's kind of cool that she had that same level of respect and love for that franchise. But at the end of the day, it's really, you know, the direct the director in this movie's thing that he wanted to do it his way it has to be his way or the highway or else he wasn't going to do it and he wanted to make a shitty movie it, it looks shitty did i see the movie no but it looks terrible and yeah it, a lot of people brought up pixels and pixels was a shitty movie i didn't have to see it to know that but i've just i heard from friends and stuff and it, it's it's probably going to go the same route so yeah we'll we'll have to see what happens but i don't think all the reshoots in the world is going to save this movie i think it's i'm i think it's going to and i'm hoping that it bombs so that they can just fucking be done with it and maybe hand off ghostbusters to another company that can do it justice and sony can you know write it off but it, there have been a lot of great casting decisions if they want here's the thing i know you want to be equal nowadays but i think the way to do it and kids pick up on this stuff, too. I don't even have to say anything to my son. My son watched the Ghostbusters trailer, the reboot. Automatically, you know, he's a little boy. His first thought was like, well, they're all girls. I think there's always going to be that thing in, in, in everybody's head growing up that's like that. You know, I always try to teach him that, you know, everyone is equal. You know, just because they're a girl doesn't mean they can't do great things or they shouldn't be in doing this or shouldn't be doing that. Or race, too. Race is another thing. But there's always that thing in his head, too, where it's like, well, I can't relate to those characters. They're all women. But I think the the, the right path would have been to have two girls and two guys. Or shit, even like that Ghostbusters 
the new Ghostbusters comic book that IDW put out, they had three girls and one guy. I would have been fine with that, even. You know, and like, I, there was actors I would have rather seen in those parts. I wanted to see Anna Ferris as a Ghostbuster. Um, I, I, st- I would still keep Kristen Wiig because I like her. I would have, I wanted to see Chris Pratt as a Ghostbuster. That would have been, that would have been awesome. Shit. I wanted to be a Ghostbuster. That would have been my perfect team. Me, Chris Pratt, Kristen Wiig, and Anna Ferris. <laughs> Shit, a Ghostbusters movie I'd love to make is me and my cousin Austin and my friend Carl and uh, my good friend Angie. She'd be an awesome Ghostbuster. <laughs> I don't know if you watch these, Angie, but yeah, I, had, I had to bring you up. Tra- my friend Tracy, too, would be a great Ghostbuster. We'd all have great on-screen chemistry together. <laughs> and we're we're underdogs. We're uh, you know we're not famous by any means, but um, yeah, that would have been cool. All right, as far as talking about a Ghostbusters cinematic universe again, like what I talked in, about in another video, is that I I know they talked about it, but if they wanted to make a shared universe, this they probably could have had this movie, but this probably would have wouldn't have been the right movie to. St- kickstart this off with because i think this is really gonna take a big shit on the franchise and it's gonna it's probably gonna destroy it for a while and take time to get it back on its feet again that's the way i'm seeing it it's like i don't know like it was like that with star trek and terminator so if you bring in a director that didn't really want to do the project to begin with and he takes his own liberties destroys a franchise for years uh star trek nemesis comes to mind they brought in a guy that didn't want to do Star Trek, he hated it, ended up pissing off a lot of people, nobody went back to see Star Trek, you know, nobody gave a shit about it after that, and it took years, and finally they rebooted it, and now, you know, it's got some sort of a base that people will still keep going and seeing these movies, we'll see about Star Trek Beyond, that was met with harsh criticism, the trailer I saw, I'm still gonna go see it, because I love Star Trek, I see every fucking one, and I like the last two a lot, but, um, yeah, the cinem- Ghostbusters cinematic universe. I'm still hoping that they'll buy the rights for Filmation's Ghostbusters, and they can do a shared universe. I I love this to to see Eddie and uh, Tracy the gorilla and stuff in a live action movie. Now's the time to do it too, with all the the special effects and stuff. And we you you can have a live action version of Prime Evil. That would kick fucking ass. As far as bringing back these old properties. I'm still waiting for my fucking Silverhawks movie. You know, your companies, you you know, you you brought back Transformers. And those keep fucking going. And they're fucking shitty movies. They're great cartoons. G.I. Joe sucked, but you brought G.I. Joe back. And you're bringing, bringing back all these... Pre- Gem, Gem got a fucking movie. Which is, I never even fucking heard of Jem. I had to go back and watch the cartoons and really understand what the fuck that was. And I couldn't understand why they even made a movie. And then I found out when they made the movie, that was a total fucking piece of shit that shit on their fans too. And it wasn't even in theaters long. It was like a couple weeks and it was out because nobody gave a shit about it and everyone hated it. It had nothing to do with the source material. But it's like, if you can dig up properties like that, I mean, that's like fucking... That's like someone digging up Denver the Lost Dinosaur or the Last Dinosaur and making a live action movie about that. It's like all these properties. Why isn't anyone doing anything with the fucking Silverhawks? That cartoon wasn't like it wasn't popular. I remember it being fairly popular when I was a kid. Kenner had a fucking toy line and there were awesome toys. Thundercats. Somebody buy up these fucking properties. Because Thundercats and Silverhawks, I think, existed in the same universe, but they were both by a Pacific animation company. Way back in the 80s, someone do something with those and make a great fucking movie. It can be done. <laughs> I'm like, this was about Ghostbusters, and I'm sitting here pleading for the Silverhawks because I want to see the Silverhawks back in the uh, the, the mainstream. Uh, before I go on any longer, Ghostbusters. None of this looks like it was handled well. I don't want it to be the nail in the coffin for the franchise. I don't think this movie's going to do well, though. I think Sony's going to really regret their decision, but but they should have listened. Everyone spoke their mind. Everyone, you know, bitched and bitched and bitched. They're just like, well, you know, fuck them. We're going to make the movie we want. And who gives a shit if they don't like it? 
the name will sell the movie. In this case, I don't think it's going to do that. I don't think the name alone is going to bring people in, though. You know, but we'll see. If there's one positive thing that's going to come out of this, I was seeing the toys. Because it's not just toys for the new movie, but it's going to be toys for the old movies, too, which is really cool. It's going to be cool seeing Ghostbuster toys in the stores again. You know, it's I'm 32. It's 2016. We're going to have Ninja Turtles and Ghostbuster toys in the fucking stores again and Transformers. I, that's cool. That's stuff I saw as a kid, and it's stuff I haven't seen for years. That's really awesome. I love. I, I still go and check out the toys, you know. But that's all I got to say. This video went on long enough. I'll see you all next time. Go watch one of my other videos.